Hello, I am Karina Cat, and this is Final Fantasy XIV Man Scenario Quest Playthrough. We're in post Heaven's Word. I don't know if I have to keep saying that. Anyway, the last video was just one quest and the entire video, but that's fine. I got a little Hoshafont minion, and he's adorable, and I love him so much. I want to put him in my pocket. My shield shall never break. <laughs> yes! I, I don't know what he's actually doing when he does that, though. Yeah. Oh, here, maybe if I cut this. No. Hmm. Some of the minions, if you interact with them, they'll do their little thing. But he does something cute with his shield. So I'm just trying to get it. Oh, here, I can zoom in. A smile that is a hero. Well, now I'm just going to cry. No. <laughs> Come on! Do your little <laughs> shield thingy! He's gonna like always do it in the background when I'm like doing other stuff, is what's gonna happen. Mm. Well, dang it. Anyway, it's really cute, so if we get the chance to see it, it's great. Anyway. Much as I worry for the future of Ishgard, the fate of our missing friends concerns me even more. Alphano, it's Alia! I've been looking all over for you! We received news regarding Flamine, <laughs> Hori Boulder, and Colton A. Really? Has something happened? Uh, no, no, it's it's nothing bad. Quite the opposite, in fact. It seems that once they learned the Scion's good name had been restored, they boarded the next ship or bound for Limsa Lamensa. They should be arriving any moment now. Oh yeah, because they went to, uh, what was it? Razat Han? Yeah. That's so cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to forget how useful Link Pearls are, isn't it? When they work, I mean. And you don't mind being spied on. So she was spying on me. God damn it, <laughs> Quite. Uh, but what wonderful news. To think that our reunion is close at hand. A pleasure to see you too, Alphano. What? Ah. <laughs> Ankrin. Kryl. What brings you two here? Kryl and I have been looking into how we might track down Minfilia. And we may just have found the answer. <gasps> Exalia, when you were fleeing Uldar with Menphilia, you said that Heidelin spoke to her shortly before you parted ways, yes? Well, assuming that it's true, and I see no reason to s suspect that it is not, it seems reasonable to conclude that Heidelin commanded her to remain behind. That is to say, the Mother Crystal directly interceded to guide Minfilia. Admittedly, this is all still quite hypothetical, but I propose that such an intervention, however subtle, must surely have some res residual trace. A lingering disturbance in the ether, or a ripple, if you will? In order to establish the existence of such ripples, of course, we will require suitable data. Fortunately, I know where such data can be found. The battleground where Ixalia fell to the Ultima weapon. And the site of my personal ignominy. It was here, I'm sorry, 
Twas there that Hylan intervened to shield her from the magic I invoked. Carl and I will infiltrate the castrum and analyze the ether with Marion. The two of you, alone. I have a proven knack for subterfuge, and I'm confident there will be sufficient nooks and crannies in which to hide Kryle while the patrols pass. Was, was <laughs> that Kryle a short can... joke? <laughs> Besides, if you and Exalia come along, who will see the Philomen's grand homecoming? When you put it like that, very well. I will trust in your plan. I know not whether this data will yield the means to find Minfilia, but it will at the very least eliminate another avenue of inquiry. Tatara and I will return to the Rising Stones and make preparations for our comrades' return. Might I impose upon you to meet them at the Lomenson docks? Then I shall see the four of you at the Rising Stones. Safe travels. Woo. Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. Onwards, Talimsa. Limsa Lominsa. Meanwhile, in the town of pirates, glamours, glamours everywhere. Oh, I thought that was a mix of a black and pink. Oh. But I actually really like that. That's cute. I think it's a Valentino. Vampire's okay. vest. are new to the game and you want to see every glamour under the sun, go to Limsa Lominsa on any server. That's fair and accurate. Oh look, they all have clothes differences. Does that does that mean that the child got your armor, buddy? Did she finally take it? I I don't want to talk about it. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I thought. It's not by the gods, it is you! Well met, Exalia! Well met! Okay, bye. If it isn't Exalia Moors, really, you didn't have to come all this way just for us. Oh, Exalia. How have you been? Come here, let me have a good look at you. Hmm. Hmm. Aren't you hot? It's it's very hot here. You're wearing like leather and furs and shit. Are you good? You're sweating. I think the twelve. One hears the strangest tales in foreign lands. I worried about you all every day. We would have sent one sooner, but the braves afforded us no opportunity. When they fell upon us in the market, it was all we could do to escape. Tataru found her way her way to you, of course, but we were forced to seek shelter aboard a harnish vessel. It pained us not being there when you needed us most. But we made the most of it, didn't we, Coltenay? Studied and trained from dusk till dawn, we did. We would have sent word sooner, but we knew not whom to trust. And with the vast distance... <sighs> but those dark days are behind us at last. I shall be glad indeed to return home and speak with my daughter. Ooh, about that. What do, you, what do you mean she's missing? How could you let this happen? Damn, I, I didn't let shit happen. She, she walked away from me. What was I supposed to do? Oh, for, forgive me. I, I'm sure you are doing everything in your power to find her. As Thancred must be. 
He watched over her from the first, long before me, and he will watch over her to the last. I shall pray for her safe return and busy myself in the meantime. For certainty, there is much and more to be done. The Braves may have bloodied us, but the path remains, and we shall not be swayed from it. Ah, oh, that's the spirit to the Scions and a long overdue reunion. Huzzah! Well, there you have it. To the Rising Stones. Well done, sir. And with that, I believe we are ready to proceed. Let us be about our business, then. The next patrol may not be so credulous. <laughs> Why must you be so disappointingly brusque? You're not at all as Minfilia described, you know. I don't think you've favoured me with so much as a single compliment since we set out. Tell me, did your time in the wilderness sap you of all your charm? Or are you holding it in reserve for your beloved? This is neither the time nor the place. Well, call me old-fashioned, but when I'm risking life and limb infiltrating an Imperial Castrum, I like to be sure of my comrades' motivations. I see now where Alfino gets it from. Minfilia is dear to me, it is true, but not in the way you think. Fifteen years passed, when she was still but a child, there was an incident at a parade. A gubu broke free of its fetters and ran amok through the streets of Ulda. Had I been more attentive, I could have prevented it. But I was distracted, and her father was killed. I feared she would never recover. But in the years that followed, she showed herself to be more resilient than I had ever imagined. And when she learned of her gift, she did not flinch from the responsibility, but sought to guide others on the path. She touched the hearts of all around her. Mine, Louis Soir, every science. In those dark days following the Calamity, she was our guiding light, our hope for a brighter future. She had so many dreams and I would give anything to make them come true. My apologies. I can see she means the world to you. I did not mean to pick at old scars. No harm done, I assure you. But fair is fair, my lady. What is Minfilia to you? You mean you don't know? Only my dearest friend. When I finally emerged from my torpor, I learned that Neri a day had passed without her asking after me. She never gave up hope. And neither will I. Then for Minfilia's sake, let us pray that these vestiges of Hydaelyn's intervention will lead us to her. So then, Thancred and Philia have more of like a father-daughter or brother-sister type relationship. Yeah. I don't... How old is Thancred? I, I'm guessing he's up there. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess he would have to be in his late 20s. Oh, he's doing a shield thing. Oh, oh damn it. 
Uh, I'm guessing he would have to be like in his late 20s, early 30s, maybe. But like Menphilia, I thought was already in her like mid 20s. But maybe she was younger. I don't know. <sighs> uh, home at last. I must make my runs and see who remains. Ah, oh, it's great to be back in the toll. It even smells like adventure. Wait, no, that's just cold today. Hey. Also, I'm 100% shipping these two, by the way. <laughs> They're great. It feels good to be home again. To think that everyone is waiting for us just beyond those doors. Friends and family with whom we have shared so much. Not as many people as you think, though. Gods help me, but the older I get, the more sentimental I become. Come, let us not keep them waiting. Why do you have a blue quest? Oh, I don't want to do that, no. The whole gang's here. Who the hell are you? Isn't that one of uh, Arnwald's buddies? Who the hell are all these people? Speak with the scions up there. This who's? Arnwald's friend. I have no idea. Hey, it's the guy who was with you on the steps of faith. Was he? Yeah, he was the, uh, yeah, he the one the that one. talked funny. Hmm. Hi, who, 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 who might you be? Is that Lady Philomena I've heard so much about? Well, hell, I shall have to introduce myself. She is quite the gilf. I was about to say, she's like a damn grandma over here. I... Alright, let's see. Who we got over here, though? Oh. Someone's lurking. Ma'am. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> Go on. Kiss. Do what you feel these slides. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sexy adventure. Yeah, that's the... That was... Okay. Oh, so these are... Maybe these are people that came and watched me kick Hori Boulder's ass? Some of them are, but I think they're also people who just joined up with the signs after this... After you succeeded at the Steps of Faith. Mm. And there they are at last. Thank the Twelve. Nothing like a homecoming to lift everyone's spirits. Thanks for bringing them back, Exalia. When our comrades betrayed us, I feared all was lost. How wrong was I? We must tell the children at once. They've always been so fond of Hori. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have. What even still wears his armor? <laughs> Alien. A, a, a Fimi. If, if, <laughs> if, if, if me. It fills my heart with joy to see you both hale and healthy. And what of Higiri? Right? Yes. She is, she is well, though ab abroad on a mission at present. It just wasn't the same without you. Welcome back, my lady. Let's see, just some randos over here. Rando listening in. The one of the ones who is like, I've learned to trust my instincts. And my instincts uh, say to stay well the hell away from the Steps of Faith. Look at her now. What the hell was the Steps of Faith? That was where you find Vishap and you find alongside Lucia and Gabbard Adventures who were tall, and a lot of them said no, and a few of them said yes. Oh. I worry that Argamus is getting a bit carried away. 
that's not what his name is, but whatever. But I suppose I can overlook it on this occasion. Ah, uh, we could do with more of that around here. Hot felt me in some stomach things. Brings a, uh, brings a bloody tear to my eye. Uh. <laughs> 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 what? First Osher? Uh, ochre. Ochre? First Ochre, and now Hori. A passing fancy I could suffer, but this? She's hopeless. Utterly hopeless. Ooh. Are you talking about her? Yes. I guess we'll find out. I, I, I heard it all from Alian. So, where is she? If I'm to greet the songstress of Ulda, I would do so on my feet. My back. To, to secret oneself in a ship's hold, to secure safe passage to a faraway land. This is a tale we know all too well. When they are well rested, I should like to seek a formal introduction. Why wait, my friend? Come, there's no need to be shy. Pray, grant me a moment longer at least. Oh, I'm happy to oblige you. My legs are rather less accommodating. Oh. Glad though I am to be home, I cannot help but think of those who have yet to return. Once we have settled in, I would join the search. Oh my, decisions, decisions. Are you- She's not a thing for Rome and- A parent. Really? Really, this like bowl ass haircut's doing it for you? At least he has like spiky looking hair. Huzzah, he is returned. Together, my brother and I shall serve the silence till the breaking of an eighth dawn. Oka, on the seven hours drove my little brother to come to Mordona. Why you, brother? You and the silence, of course. For a thousand days I trained that I might grow as strong as you, that I might fight alongside you. Yet now that you are here, I sense that you have surpassed me once more. No. Do not tell me. You trained with the Harnish, did you not? Your eyes do not deceive, brother. I, I have studied the trials of the Braves and drunk deep of the souls of mine enemies. And so, uh... <laughs> this poor girl's just struggling. The... It's been so long since I've seen them all like this. Too long. Twas the gas born of my foolish ambition which forced them to flee. Though they are returned, there are th uh, others yet missing, others whom we cannot forsake. We'll find them, Alphano. I know we will. Menphilia, Yida, Papalimo, every last one. And when they walk through those doors, we'll be here to welcome them home. With me at the head of the queue, of course. Well, I not if it's during the Dawn Trail release if you want. What? If it's, at the, if it's during the Dawn Trail release, when the queue's all backed up. Mm. Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to that shit. I Do you think I can have playing motion? Oh, God, I hope so, because the Endwalker one, oh my 
gosh. The only time I've ever heard of <laughs> in history where a game had to stop selling itself because it was doing so well. Enchanted familiar, though it may be, kissing it will do nothing to alter its corporeal form. Then could have been Kryle contacted us a short while ago. It would seem that their foray into Castro Meridianum bore fruit. They asked that we rendezvous with them in Distola, and uh, it'll shot. Well, there was a lag there, so we just stopped at it'll sh. Uh, in Idleshire, where they <laughs> will share their findings. Rude though it is to depart without speaking to the guest of honor, I expect she will forgive me if I return with her daughter. That's a hard if, though, buddy. What are you still doing here? They're waiting for you in Ildeshire. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going. I'm just... Oh, yeah, I mean. As much as Alpha Noah messed up with the Braves, well, one honest mistake. Um. I'm really glad he's, like, going out of his way to take responsibility for the set mistake. Yeah, he's not, like... Prayer return to the Waking Sands, do my work, and I'll wait here while you do yeah. all this. Yeah. We have to bring Minfilia back. <sighs> I don't know. Do we? Can we not? Can we say we did, and then she does not hear? Uh, how's Philemon in, by the way? Enchanting as ever, I trust. I shall have to pay my respects when time allows. Oh, bro, he's totally into the guild, though. All of them are. It's kind of crazy. I mean, apparently she was a songstress and a dancer and stuff, so... I mean, I don't know. She doesn't look older, like, physically, so it's kind of, like, weird. Because, like... I, I don't know, do M Makote live longer lives? Shorter lives? I don't know. I don't look it up. It was rather less than I had hoped, though mayhap I asked too much. <laughs> My apologies. I see, I'm the I see I am the last to arrive. So, what news have you for us? Well, as we postulated, there were indeed what appeared to be the remnants of an unexplained disturbance in the ether at the scene of the Ultima Weapon's destruction, a ripple at odds with the presiding pattern. Though faint, the waveforms bore a strong resemblance to those observed following the destruction of the Isle of Val. Val? Val. Val? When I believe Heidelin shielded me with the blessing of light. To confirm our findings, we paid a visit to the Sildi Aqueducts. There, we detected the same waveform, but orders of a magnitude larger, as one would expect of a more recent disturbance. Heidelin, there is no other explanation. But there is more. When I studied the site where Yashola used flow, it appeared that not two, but three beings had been affected. Yet, unlike Yashola and Thancred, there was no trail to follow. Our unknown third party was simply there, and then not there. Oh, shit. Now, recall your visions of the of a vast crystal floating in a sea of ether. Though, this may... This, too, is but a theory. Studies of gifted subjects suggest... That when communing with Heidelin, we briefly leave our bodies behind. So let us consider the facts. One, Heidelin interceded. Two, a third being was caught in Yashola's flow and vanquished without a trace. And three, Heidelin may have the capacity to summon the consciousness of gifted individuals to her side. You are implying, I take it, that Heidelin guided Menphilia into the compass of my magic. That she might summon her body and soul unto the ethereal sea. In which case, we must needs continue our search there for a blessing 
For a blessing, the means to do so already exists. Hmm? I speak of the Anti-Tower. A Charlian construction conceived to provide scholars a vantage point over the ethereal sea. Though I know not where its interest, interest, entrance <laughs> lies, we need only ask its last custodian. A contrary old crone who, for another blessing, refused to join the exodus. <laughs> Master Matoya was the keeper of the anti-tower? I had no idea. Then our course is clear. We must petition her aid once again. Bruh, she's gonna be real tired of us just busting into her cave and shit. I'm about 90% sure she's gonna start with, oh, now what? <laughs> Probably. Um, so I'm looking up the ages. Nephilia is 27. Philomid is 37. What? Thancred is 32. So then, more brother sister. Yeah, I would for like the ten year gap would be like, oh, she's like a mother to me, and I, I'm actually quite young, you know. I mean, I guess that checks out. <laughs> uh, also, apparently, most races live the same length as humans, except for I'm assuming Rothgar and Viera. Yeah, I was about to say the Viera. I know how a longer lifespan. But that's also the Viera of of first, or are they called something different? In the first, they're called Vs, but they're essentially the same thing. We yeah, that's that's weird. Yeah, well, well, I guess you can stop doing the 37 year old as a grandma. <laughs> nah, she's still grandma. She's a gilf. Everyone wants the gilf. <laughs> so, so it goes. So it goes. But I think she looks like she doesn't look like old, old, but like I'm pretty sure she does have a little bit of age lines. She doesn't. She just dresses the part and wears the glasses and has, like, the grandma auntie hair. She's, she's a grandma. She's not, like, old lady Matoya here, but also I'm pretty sure Matoya would have busted my kneecaps for calling her that. <laughs> she probably would turn you in. Probably. Oh, what a surprise. Well, what secrets have you come to extract from me this time? <laughs> ah, uh, though it pains me to admit it, your words strike close to the mark. We humbly ask that you grant us entry to the Ente Tower, that we might use it to seek a friend who we believe has been transported into the Ethereal Sea. Mm -hmm. And who told you I could do such a thing, I wonder? <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> the tower was abandoned to its magical keepers 15 years ago. They have the run of the place now. If that is no deterrent to you, then by all means. Is that all? I felt sure you would seek a, to dissuade us from our course, given your role as custodian. Role? Hardly. The form foisted the title onto me. During the exodus, every entrance to the anti-tower was sealed save one. Oh. My role consists of making sure no one with ill intent sneaks through it. Such was the form's final order to me. Well, I can remove the wards right now. Will you be going or not? We will, Master Matoya. We will do whatever it takes to find Menphilia. We'll see about that. 
you, Baldassian girl, you're staying here with me. I need your help to restore the wards to their original state. The rest of you can go, on the condition that you clean up the mess in the tower. If you encounter any unruly familiars, you to tend to them. <laughs> Those are my terms, and I'll hear no argument. And you stole us. Stop telling all my damn secrets. <laughs> well, it appears the mistress has spoken. Lead the way, Salia. You just assume I'm going to be the head of this mission and shit? Well, you right. <sighs> Sing to our things. Uh, we could do it synced. That's fine. Okay. Do you want to do it unsynced? No. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Fair warning, but the arcane entities inside the anti tower are a troublesome lot. Try not to die in there. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what you'll need to do once you reach the bottom. But you've always been so resourceful, so... Whatever it takes, we will find Minfilia. Whatever it takes. Long did I wonder what awaited beyond that door. Several times in my youth I even tried to open it, but the wards were beyond my ability to dispel. <laughs> All I earned for my efforts was a mountain of menial chores and I had given up on ever satisfying my curiosity to think that I'm about to step through the threshold after all these years no oh, you're not but whatever <laughs> the antitow is the sole reason the Charlian settlement existed in Neosia one cannot overstate the structure's importance onwards to the antitower I'm going as dancer is that fine? you want me to go as healer? dancer's fine Okay. I'm gonna pause it while we wait in queue. You pop. Unpause. Yeah, sorry, I had it. A... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to climb out from the floor. Hey, but I'm level 60. Oh, Zarin, I like your portrait. Looking fancy. Wait, I'm so far behind. I got distracted. abilities they're all gone why because 20 levels are missing oh oh that's why yeah sorry about that wait what level are you 82 oh oh that's right you didn't play much today we so, Miss Exalia, what brings us to this upside down world? I didn't realize it was upside down. Anyway. Oh no. Um. 
Well, there's a chance we can find Menphilia. Oh. Yeah. 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 She's everyone's favorite, but nobody's favorite, if that makes sense. It does not, but if your goal is to find her, then find her we shall. I mean, I personally don't care, but everyone else does, so. There's that. You're such a kind soul, Miss Natalia. I wouldn't go that far. I would. Hmm. Looking real nice there, Zarin. No, you. I love the new moves. The, the new what? The new moves you're doing. Oh, yeah, I'm a dancer. I am totally not distracted at all. <laughs> Yeah, my what? Oh, my my outfit isn't quite dancer, but for right now I'm still dealing with Ishgard stuff, so it's still a bit cold. What's happening in Ishgard? Arson. Amrit got stabbed. What? what? I mean, oh no. <laughs> oh darn. Am I doing? How do I not be a frog? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Are you okay, Theron? I've been concussed. Don't do that. Yay! Treasure! Give me treasure! Oh! Wow. You travel down the up staircase? <laughs> Help! My brain! Uh, okay. Yeah, no, sure. I'll need that. I'll, I'll throw that in my thing. Uh, oh, mine's way better. Yeah, oh, we're gonna we're gonna pass on that one, and let's see, we'll pass on that one. How about you, treasure? Treasure? Oh, there's mimics. They were floating up top. Oh. I think they were waiting till we killed the other stuff before making their grand appearance. How about you, fashionably late elementals? Eh. Eh. Ah, bookcases. My one weakness. Zaren, do you know what a book is? Of course I know what a book is. It's that thing that Mr. Sayers throws in my head whenever I get answers wrong. That sounds about right. Does he throw the books at your head too, Miss Exalia? No. No, he does not. Mostly because I also carry, or I, I did, carry a book a lot. I would never wish harm upon you, Miss Exalia, but that's not fair. He steals my ears, he lets me keep yours. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe because he knows that Karina would be very upset with him. I just understand. It 
If you want a class that does AOE, the answer is it. This is one of the classes I don't really play much. What's it like? I mean, I like it. I main a dancer, but uh, <laughs> I have my complaints, honestly, because so it's supposed to be physical range DPS, which it is in the sense of you know I never have to stop moving. I, I'm just all over the place all the time. Uh, however, I'm a little upset that the AOE spells or moves that I have require me to be up on the target because they're AOE around me, not, you know. Oh, oh, oh! Can we fall oh, off? Oh, I don't think so. Okay, hopefully not, because I almost just did. Um. But yeah, I don't like that the AOE spells require me to... Are we supposed to go behind that? No. If he targets you, yes. Oh. Oh. I see. Um. Yeah, the AoEs, you have to be, like, right up on the mobs, which sucks, because to me, that's not physical range DPS then, but whatever. The single targets are all ranged. Healer, you might want to... Oh, you were just hoping we would kill him in time. Whoa. What? The floor is up there. Oh, this is the anti tower? Oh, God, no. Wait. Wait. Ah! This is the one I thought it was. I thought this was the one with the weird demon gates at the end. Congratulations, it's not. Oh, jeez. Well, my soul's going to leave my body momentarily, so everyone enjoy! Mm. I made a friend. No, no, you made a friend. You took him back. How about you, the quadrupedal heathens? They're called centaurs. Oh! Why? I don't know. There's one wind-up magus that is possibly going to aggro me. Oh, okay, never mind. You got it. I guess I was doing too much damage to that one in particular, so he 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 did not like me very well. It must have been happening a lot. I don't know if my technique's gotten worse or if things are just different. Ah. Uh... I I don't know. Because I know that if any of the DPS do, like, any kind of single target ability, then they obviously do more damage in the tanks, so... True. Why is he... Hey! Stop that. You have tank stance on. No, the monk just hard focused one I barely touched, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, if the DPS even just hit one mob with, like, a single target spell, they do so much more damage that I guess it just pulls aggro. I'm used to that, but 
I guess it's, I, I need to redo this or refigure out the spacing of my AOEs. Uh, uh, I'm out. We are called Cabrina. Adorable dolls, terrible dolls. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing the voice? Because you sound too terrified to. Look, Miss Exalia. Dollies! I hate everything and my soul has left my body. Oh! Oh, come now, Miss Exalia. They're just dolls. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, you go ahead and eat fucking. Oh, God. I hate it so much. Oh god, it's the heads! And do they cry? Mr. Salia, why did you lead us here? I don't know, but I hate everything right now, and I regret every decision that led me to this very moment. I... Oh... That's naked! Well, that's... Oh, what is this? What does this do? Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh no, the healer. Uh. Ow! <laughs> Very specifically in the front, apparently. Still crying. Ah, I'm gonna turn into one. Kill me. Kill me. Quick. No. Shred my soul to smithereens. Ah. Are you gonna stop? How about you terrifying manifestation of the seven hells? No oh, bother. Oh yeah, limit break, that's a thing. Oh, I don't have that on my bars. I should probably put that on my bar. I'm, oh god, nope, nope, nope. Uh -huh. Congratulations, Mrs. Alia. I hate everything so much. Oh god. Okay. So this is the closest point of the ethereal sea. The ether here is almost too much for my eyes. Bankrid, do you have words? Are you also petrified by the creepy doll? No. Oh. We've come for you, Minfilia. Through time and 
and space hast thou journeyed unto me, as I knew thou wouldst. We are the word of the mother. We, who were once called Minfilia. Much time hath passed for thee since the bloody banquet. Since, since I hearkened to her word. Mother, Hydelin, guided me towards Yishtola and Thancred, that I might be swept up in their flow and delivered unto the ethereal sea. There, adrift and alone, her voice silent once more, I prayed for those we had lost, for those we can yet save. To her, I would make an offering. We speak now with one voice. One will. One word. Unto thee we bequeath the most precious of gifts, the truth which lieth at the heart of this world. Thus, do we beseech thee once more. Hear, feel, think. Before there was life, in the depths of the ethereal sea, light and dark did once dwell as one. But the darkness coveted power, and the balance was broken. Thus was I forced to banish him unto the distant heavens, to forever remain apart, a moon bound. In sundering the star did we cry out, and the barriers twixt plains chanced to falter. Across ten and three were we then divided. Reflections of the source, each possessed of a shard. Zodiac longeth to be made whole. For his restoration, for his resurrection, his servants labor without cease. They seek to tear down the barriers which surround the source. Thus do they rejoice in their ardor, in your calamities, for each marks a rejoining. Seven times have they succeeded. Seven times hath the darkness grown stronger. Seven times have I failed. The Assians cannot be suffered to continue. This, this is my final. Crystal's power is all but spent. With what remains, I will return you to the shore of the ethereal sea. Blessed children, go forth and seek. Seek.
You've had another vision, haven't you? Let us return to Master Matoya's cave. Everyone will wish to hear what you saw. Still in one piece, are we? Well, did you learn anything? The word of the mother? I'm not sure I understand. Nor am I. Cryo? As unbelievable as it sounds, I see no reason to doubt her... The words tale. No one was more sensitive to the will of Hydaelyn than Menphilia, and... If Hydaelyn has grown so weak that she can barely make herself heard, it is not hard to see why Minfilia, having joined with her, might struggle to maintain her own form. What? Why would she need to maintain her own form? Are you saying... Are you saying she's gone? But that cannot be! Not now. Not after all we have accomplished. We were meant to wash her in the dawn's light together. She threw herself on the fire to fuel your dawn's light, boy. You'll just have to usher it in on your own. Must you be so ungentle? Tell me about the Scions, boy. The, the, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn lay before Aeolzia's salvation. Whenever the realm is threatened, be it by Primal, Asian, Garlean, or any other, we take up arms in her defense, that all in Aeolzia may live to see a brighter tomorrow. And that's very noble of you. But in chasing after these lofty goals of yours, you seem to have lost sight of some basic truths. To win a war, you must be willing to do whatever it takes. To fight, to kill, and if necessary, to die. The path you've chosen is paved with the dead. Walk it with your eyes open, or not at all. I know the truth of which you speak and have from the first. If the Asians will go to any length to resurrect their god, then we must needs be as committed to our cause, to unmask them and their schemes, and to crush them both utterly. Come, there is much to be done. Yes, of course. Tancred, wait! No. No, this is all wrong. Well, they am. I think the line that she said is one that I actually remember from this and being like, well, shit, that's a harsh truth. 
a necessary one. Yeah. The path you walk is paved with the dead. Walk it with your eyes open or not at all. Damn. Mm. It is a blessed few who get to choose how and how and when, how and when and for what they die. Not that you need reminding, I suppose, but that boy. <sighs> For all the suffering he has known, he still clings to the notion that there is a cosmic justice, a morality by which we are saved or condemned, and there isn't. Damn. She... she's not coming back, is she? I... I don't think so. I don't know. She did what she thought was best. I know that. I do. To give all for her beliefs was ever her way. So will we, as we must. What greater calling could there be than to stand against the dark as defenders of the light? And yet, where does it end? The sacrifice. The loss. So why the hell did I get a, f a fucking poor roar, roar, whatever the fuck? for that. <laughs> I'm a frog. <laughs> I'm so sad. Here, take my emotional support, frog. A product of Matoya's mind-altering magics, this particular familiar served the mistress for almost 50 summers before becoming struck with the sense of wonderlust following several fetch quests into the wild. Matoya allowed it to accompany you on your journey. Oh. I'm unable to summon a minion here. Indeed, there is no end to the tasks that want for doing. Ribbit. Alright, well. <laughs> that is where it's gonna have to end today. Because I am over somehow, magically. Anyway, with that being said. Until next time on Final Fantasy XIV Main Scenario Quest playthrough. Yes. Alrighty. Well, bye bye. <laughs>